PS5 sales are slowing down. Less people are buying a PS5. Could it be because we're all waiting for a PS5 Pro? I'm Blaze 2K. Let's get into the news. Special shout out to all our members who support everything that I do on YouTube, whether it's the gaming news, the live streams, all that sort of stuff. Thank you for being a member. If you want to get your name in every single live stream, every single video, consider clicking join and becoming part of the club. You'll get some cool perks and benefits as well. And I love you forever, of course. Anyhow, into the news. Into the news. Video Game Chronicle reports PS5 hit 61 million. 61 million PS5s are out in the wild. I remember it feels like yesterday where we did the PS5 stock tracking stream. Keep your bell icon enabled on this channel because we might just start a PS5 Pro live tracking stream at some point. Yeah, you guys buy PS5 Pros. Um, I love when you guys pop into my streams every now and again and say, Hey, Blaze, do you remember me? You helped me get a PS5 a couple of years ago. What good times. Getting up at 7 in the morning for a target drop. PS5, PS Direct, all trying to get into the queue. All comparing what like what place in the queue we were at. Oh, man, it was it was a lot of fun. And I miss those days every day. Um, so, yeah, 61 million, uh, 61 million units of Sony's year-on-year -year Q1 hardware sales fall. But operating income rises. So, probably the money they're making off DLC live service games is going up, obviously. But hardware sales money they're making on hardware sales is falling all right sorry i got distracted there year in year one q1 hardware sales fall but operating income rises so as i was saying basically i think their software live service game revenue digital revenue from selling digital software goes up but hardware sales down which can only suggest that people are buying less ps5s and waiting for the ps5 pro so the company now forecasts a slightly better fiscal year 2025 than it did in May. Interesting. So PS5 is now past 61 million units sold despite having a relatively quiet three month period. Remember, it was so hard to get your hands on the PS5. We had to set up a PS5 restock stream. In Sony's latest financial results covering the Q1 period for its financial year 2024, the period between April 1st and June 30th, the company says that 2.4 million PS5 consoles were sold. I mean, for between April 1st and June 30th, they sold two and a half million. Holy crap. Can you imagine like, on a barge somewhere, like literally 2.4 million PS5 stacked up. That would just be absolutely insane in the membrane. Um, that's still a lot. This is down from the 3.3 million PS5 consoles sold during the Q1 period last year, but nevertheless brings the total number of PS5 sales to date up to 61.7 million. The results were generally positive for Sony's gaming division overall with Q1 sales in the games and network services segment up 12% year in year and operating income up 32% um, to four, um, 443 million. Nice, not bad. In its summary, Sony attributes the year-on-year -year, um, increase to, due to the impact of foreign exchange rates, the increase in sales of first-party game software titles, and then the increase in sales from network services, mainly PlayStation Plus. Okay. However, it does acknowledge a decrease in sales in hardware due to a decrease in unit sales. So, that, like I said, I think we're all getting ready for the PS5 Pro or whatever PlayStation has to show us or, you know, offer us in terms of an upgrade to the current ps5 we've covered that in several videos i don't think there's a lot they could bring to the ps5 pro right now i think we should just skip to the ps6 in my own opinion my humble opinion let me know what you think in the comments however it does acknowledge a decrease in sales okay despite an overall increasing in of income from software sales sony also reports that software unit sales are down year on year with 53.6 million units sold in q1 2024 compared to 565 million units during the same period it also reports that digital download ratio for q1 was 80 percent versus 20 percent physical gamestop is absolutely reeling right now um compared to an average of 70 percent okay in fiscal year 2023 so more people are buying digital games than ever physical is now a relic of the past i remember back when digital was sort of relatively new right i really still think like it's a good thing they have so many sales on PlayStation because people just don't want to pay $80 for a digital game. I mean, back when we had physical collections and steel cases and stuff, you know, there was a bit more value in that, if I felt like, than having digital. Um, so I, I always felt digital should be discounted, but they never did, obviously, ultimately. And now they're just doing sales, which I think is still good. Um, 
we're starting to see digital come down just a little bit, which is good. Um, but yeah, that's the final nail in the coffin for physical games, guys. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to say that, but it is. Um, Tokyo-based industry consultant Don, Dr. Serkan Toto told VGC, given Sony is going through a ra- rather silent 2024 software-wise, the numbers actually look quite solid. I mean, that is true. There's not many new games on the horizon, really in the near future for Sony. It's mainly going to be thir- for third party titles. For instance, you can see the positive effect on sales from the price increase for PlayStation Plus in their numbers. The weak spot, the big weak spot, however, is hardware sales. The year on year drop is not surprising, but it is quite significant. Sony can only hope that Astro Bot or one of the other new games coming out this year will make people go out and buy PS5s again. I, I think Astro Bot looks pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to be like, I need to go out and buy a PS5 right now to play Astro Bot. Maybe it would be the case if Grand Theft Auto 6 was coming out, but not Astro Bot, I'm afraid. So yeah, it follows a big trend in the gaming industry. Obviously, Nintendo Nintendo sales have crashed like 70%. They're not selling Nintendo Switches anymore because we're all waiting for a new Switch. Um, PlayStation sales are down. We're all waiting for the new PS5 Pro, or at least it seems like people are because the sales are going down. Um, there's a lot of layoffs in the industry. Just there's a lot getting shook up in the industry right now. It's pretty crazy. Anyhow, there you go. People, less people are buying PS5s. What do you make of that in the comment section down below? Let me know. And thank you again to all our members. If you want to get your name on that list, consider clicking join down below and joining the the Blaze the Blaze Squad and um, joining us for like community movie nights um, where we're going to be watching a movie. Not like I won't be playing the movie on stream, of course, because copyright. But we'll all click play at the same time. the The camera will be on me. I'll be giving my giving you my commentary. As we watch the film, you guys can chat in the chat. And um, yeah, it'll be a fun time for everyone, I think. Um, so yeah, see you there. Click join. Join us for movie night. To be continued. Keep an eye on the community feed because I'll, I'll be posting it there, the announcement. We've already got a film lined up that we're going to be watching. Thank you to Lil Will, one of our new members. I think his name should be shown on that list. But yeah, we've picked a movie. It's called The Monster from, I believe, 2016. It's looking good. It's looking really good. We watched a film last night on stream, and that was also really good. Thanks, Travis Parker, for the recommendation. And we all had a great time. There was like four of us just sitting there, chilling, having a drink, eating some food, snacking, talking about the film as we watched it together at the same time. We had a pause for a couple of people's ad breaks, but hey, it's all part and parcel of watching the film together. Anyhow, let's... Let's end it, out, end it here. Let's wrap up. Anyways, I'm Blaze2K. Like, subscribe, click the bell icon. If you love games and want to be part of the community, um, yeah, subscribe. Anyhow, peace out. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.